Your it's your boy grew up here back with another video and today I got a special video for you guys. Today we're gonna be checking out on Banner Talk Legend Step Up Sign of Ultra Instinct Goku. Um oh, not Ultra Instinct Go Ultra Instinct. And we're gonna see what this banner has for in stores for us. Let's see the feature units and see what you guys should do on this banner. So as you guys know, you guys can see it's a regular banner and stuff like that. And now we're gonna go here. Possible characters. So 0.25 Ultra Instinct Sign Goku. I love Vegeta's a 0.25. Namek Goku and Guided Destruction Bears. So these are the three, the four LF units that they're going to bring into this step of banner. And they're all very, very, very good. Beerus is about to get his Zenkai Awakening banner coming out when this banner comes out. Namku are, is already out. I love Vegeta is still very, very good. So they're, all four of these LFs are, are amazing. So that's a plus right there. Taking a look at Dispo, Topo, Jiren, Oh Blue, Gohan, Super Saiyan God, Oh Purple Vegeta, Red Goku, which I really need. I still don't have this character. Kefla, Hit, and they have a new Frieza. So this banner is looking already fire. Like, honestly, out of the, hold on, 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, 5%, 6%, 7, 8, 9, or 10%. Nine of them are good, are amazing. Kefla's amazing. This Goku's amazing. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, or Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Adult Gohan, all f the four LFs, and these new units are, are amazing. So, I would already say that it's already nine out of ten. The only bad unit, I would say, is Hit. And that's because, I mean, and the Hit is still very good, don't get me wrong, but compared to these units, he's not even close. He's just a glass cannon, but even Hit is still good. So, this is a big plus. All of them are good. <clears throat> and just looking at their stats and stuff. Like Dispo. Their kits are amazing. Like there's so much stuff about them that makes them unique. So uh, I'm not going to really dive on in on the main build. You guys can check it out. See what he can do. But like. like it's amazing. Like he comes in with 80, 80 damage inflicted. Shorten sub counts and all that stuff. It's amazing. And like hold on. His main ability Restores key, destroys all your enemies' cards, gives damage inflicted to your rival universe in red. And like they're it's just it's just crazy. So I'm gonna just go to like topos. They all do like they're due diligent and it's, it's just crazy. Look, allies health, buffs allies damage as well. Uh it's just so much to read. So it just and then like in Jiren right here does is is ridiculous like looking at what he does 50 percent damage when he comes in then he gets an additional 50 if he's the last man standing but if he comes to battle he gets 40 percent damage so when he comes into battle he gets 90 percent damage inflicted reduces damage by 20. he knows if i change and cover twice which is ridiculous reduces the next damage sustained by 50. like what like this guy is ridiculous his green card is ridiculous like I keep saying ridiculous because that's like the only word I can say. Destroys own cars. Randomly draws four new ones. Key. He restores advanced gauge when you activate the screen card twice. No switching. Like what type of green card is this? This is like a main ability type. Like you, this could be a main ability on someone's character. And his ultimate skill. Like what? Reduces health restoration. Man. Yo, these 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 three units are are insane. If you don't even pull UI Goku, which I'm going in like that, I'm going in the mindset of me not pulling UI Goku. If I get all three of these guys to six stars, it's a plus for me. If I can get these guys to six stars, the Universe Eleven, pull Super Saiyan guy Goku to six, get him to six, maybe pull this guy a little bit, <clears throat> it'll be a plus because I already have Kefla at nine stars. But the question is, should you guys go in on his banner? And my question is, spend every CC you get on this banner, bro. Like, this banner is probably the best banner that we ever had. Even better than the Monster Vegeta banner. Like, all these units are good. Even this Gohan is, is amazing, bro. Like, not a lot of people has him, but this guy is great, bro. Seeing what he can do, he's amazing. Like, there's really no bad characters. Even, even Hit. Hit might be the worst one, but Hit is still good because his... His uh his tag is basically got revived because Universe Eleven not Universe uh, Rival Universe the tag is like got even stronger so you can even run him with the Universe Eleven guys as the yellow unit if you did not pull Shampa so 
and Kefla works on this team as well as a green unit. Like, this team is insane. Gohan, like, man. Like, spend every CC. I'm going to spend every CC I have until this banner goes away. So, that's it. That's really it for this video. Um, go all in for this banner because this banner is amazing. Um, honestly, like, you, like, man, they made these three units so good. And the UI, the UI Goku is nice. I didn't even check, like, show you guys what he can do, but... Honestly, his um his the vanishing gauge about him is interesting. So as you guys can see here, this character's unique gauge gradually decreases while they're on the battlefield, and gradually recovers while they're on standby. So it's not like he gets his recovery gauge like everybody else does when he's on the battlefield. So you can, he has a unique playstyle. So it's kind of reminds me of of Namek Goku, where Namek Goku came. He had like a unique playstyle where. You know, you can black, you can back step. When he first came out, you can back, um, back float and all that stuff. You have to play differently when he comes in the game. So, this guy's going to be have the same effect as LF, as Namku, where you have to play completely different when he's on the battlefield. And I feel like this is a skilled based card. So, if you, if great players know how to use this correctly, they can be like devastated. So, and yeah, like consumes 30% of unique gauge when he evades with enemy attack listed below while slide moving or standing still so you can basically kind of like tap shot it maybe consume some it's, it's really interesting so but even like he even has like the namku thing where eight timing counts of laps he gets stronger like three and then eight this is ridiculous he comes in with 60 damage he does extra damage to fusion warriors so he can counter vegeto blue in a way he, he kind of has a counter for him and Restore his own health and 40. And his green card is ridiculous. Like it has like the modern Vegeta and Super Saiyan 2 Gohan vibe. And he can heal and get key. Extra damage and card draw speed. And his blue reduce it um nullifies endurance, which that's a big thing. Reduces damage cut. Super massive impact damage. And his Z ability is Universe Saga. And then at three stars, it's God Key Blast Attack in Universe Saga. And then at six stars, it's Saiyan as well last attack and defense so honestly yeah this banner go all in spend every cc this is probably the best banner that we ever had and um that's it for this video that's it for this banner talk hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys um hope that like my feedback on what you guys should do can help you guys out i'm going all in and i'm gonna keep going all in until this banner is out so um, yeah that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it's me your boy growth man and i'm out